Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So I hope you were able to purchase your desired laptop in the last sales. Now it's time to benchmark and stress test your laptop. If you have watched my video on the Dell G515 Special Edition which where, uh, which where I did some rigorous stress test and benchmarking, I did that because that laptop was quite popular or you can say infamous for its instability issues. So after doing stress tests and benchmarks, I could confirm what the weaknesses were and what the strong points were. And I could also confirm that the laptop was completely stable. Also, I showed you how to control the temperatures on that laptop. So the same thing applies to any laptop or any you know, PC you build. It is quite important to stress test and benchmark your uh, system to know whether your system is stable. For example, if you may, if you have like overclocked your GPU, so you want to test whether your GPU is stable after the overclock. Suppose you have undervolted your CPU, so you want to test whether your CPU is stable doing some benchmarks. Or overall, like you want to benchmark your system to know that whether your system is performing at its maximum possible state, whether your uh, you know CPU is able to maintain high boost clocks or not, whether you whether your laptop is you know thermal throttling. So stress testing and benchmark benchmarking is actually quite important to know whether your system is working perfectly or not. Also, you know, benchmarking is just pure fun. Like you can benchmark your system and compare your system, the scores of your system with your friend's system and compare in between the two. You can also join our Discord server where we have a special benchmark section. You can share your benchmarks uh, over there and you can compare with other people also. So, yeah. So, a lot of people wanted to know how to stress test and how to set up the benchmarks and stuff like that. So, this video is exactly for those people who want to, you know, stress test your machine. They don't know how to set up the benchmarks. So here I'll show you in a very simple and easy way how to set up all the tools, how to uh, you know do the benchmarks, how to record the you know benchmark logs and stuff like that. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So firstly, we need two monitoring applications that is MSI Afterburner and Hardware Info 64. So let's download both of them. Links to all the tools will be in the description. Now extract the afterburner zip and then install it. Make sure Riva Tuner is selected as this is basically the on-screen display that shows the statistics. Then install Hardware Info 64. It's a very simple installation, just like MSI Afterburner. Now, let's set up MSI Afterburner for monitoring purposes. So, here you can see that MSI Afterburner can be used for tweaking your GPU. But I'm not going to focus on that now. Uh, maybe in a later video. So now let's go to the settings. Here you can see what GPU 1 or GPU 2 is so that you can choose the correct parameter to monitor. Now moving on to monitoring options. Here you can choose all the various parameters that you want to monitor and want to show on your on-screen display. We are however mostly interested in GPU 1 that is the dedicated GPU which is an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti in my case. We want its memory and core clocks, its usage percentage, power draw, temperature. And we need the same for the CPU also. That is the CPU usage in percentage, core clocks for all the four cores. I have only four cores and eight threads, power draw and the temperature.
we also want our frame rates and memory usage. There are other options like percentile figures and we will come back to it at the end of the video when we will talk about benchmarking games. Moving on to the on screen display, here you can choose a dedicated shortcut key to toggle the on screen display on or off and I generally use the asterisk key. Just apply in OK. And as you can see here, I am able to toggle the on screen display on or off using the asterisk key. Next up, Hardware Info 64. So Hardware Info will show information about most of the hardware in your system. From the CPU, to the GPU, to the RAM, storage, you name it and you got it. So we'll use Hardware Info to once again monitor the same stats that we used Afterburner for but Hardware Info provides much more details. So let's go into the sensor section. Here you can see all the details about most of the motherboard components. So on the left pane you can see the clock speeds of your CPU and on the right pane you have information on CPU package temperature, CPU package power draw. You can also see temperature of each of the individual cores separately. Scrolling down you can also see all the information about your GPU including the power draw of the GPU. Now let's connect hardware info with Riva Tuner statistics server aka our on screen display. So go to settings then OSD here you can choose whatever parameter you want to add to your on screen display. So I'm going to add CPU package temperature, CPU package power draw and GPU power. Just select show value in OSD and if you want you can show the label in OSD also. And after selecting the parameters, you can just press OK and you're done. And by the way, this clock icon is used to reset the minimum, maximum and average values and it will start recollecting data the moment you press it. So now your monitoring tools are all set up. Now for the benchmarking applications. Number 1. Cinebench R20 Cinebench is a cross-platform test suite which tests a computer's hardware capabilities. It can be used as a test for Cinema 4D's 3D modeling, animation, motion graphic and rendering performance on multiple cores. Number 2. IDA64 Extreme. This is another CPU stress test application. Mind you, a trial will only last for 30 days after you have to purchase it. Number 3. Unigen Heaven. Heaven Benchmark is a DirectX 11 GPU intensive benchmark that hammers graphics cards to its limits. This powerful tool can be effectively used to determine the stability of a GPU under extremely stressful conditions as well as check the cooling system's potential under maximum heat output. Last but not least, 3DMark TimeSpy Demo. TimeSpy is a fully DirectX 12 GPU benchmark that can push modern GPUs to their limits. Download the demo version from Steam. So except Cinebench, all the other benchmarking applications are simple exe installs. For Cinebench, you need to extract the file and there inside that you will get the executable. So just wanted to show it. Now all the monitoring tools have been set up. Now it's just time to benchmark. So let's start with Cinebench. Oh, by the way, before that, let me just switch my benchmarking profile. Uh, I have lots of undervolted profiles, so I have to switch to that. And let me just put my laptop to the maximum fan speed and also overclock the GPU. Right. So do this before you benchmark. Now let's open Cinebench. So open Cinebench and keep hardware info open on the side. You don't want to close hardware info because if you close hardware info, you cannot monitor the temperatures. 
so as you can see in hardware info you can see all the details you want to see the cpu package temps package power core clocks core temps everything now go to advanced benchmark where you can select single core or multi core stress test but i am more interested in multi core and uh, as soon as you start the test move over to hardware info 64 to check the clock speeds temps power run whatever you want and uh, as you can see my intel core i5 8300h is already throttling from the get go so yeah you can see the high temperatures and the clock speeds aren't as good so monitor the performance and uh, at the end after the benchmark you will get a score So I'm just going to close the benchmark and just after ending the benchmark, you can see the temperatures fall immediately. That's just the nature of CPUs and GPUs. Now for IDA64, unfortunately, I cannot show you because my trial expired, but you can download and do the benchmark yourself. It's quite easy. Now let's move on to Unigen Heaven. So this is our GPU benchmark. So you can choose your graphic settings from this menu and then you can run the benchmark. So this is my graphic setting for this test. So let's run it. And here you can see Revive Tuner is showing all the stats that we selected from MSI Afterburner and Hardware Info. So this test takes a while to start. So now it has started. And you have to make sure that both the applications are not terminated. That is Hardware Info and MSI Afterburner. And you can also toggle the on-screen display with the asterisk key, remember that. And clicking the benchmark option inside this benchmark will actually start the benchmark and it will give you a score at the end. So yeah, the benchmark will run for a couple of minutes, which will give you a good long-term scenario of how your temperatures behave, how your clock speeds behave and what frame rate you can get. And at the end, you'll get a score. Last but not the least, one of the most intensive GPU benchmark that is 3D Mark Time Spy. Now there are other benchmark options inside 3D Mark, but uh, you have to actually purchase them. So yeah, you can see there are other benchmarks like Firestrike, Firestrike Extreme, Extreme, and all. But for our purpose, the demo is enough. So just hit the Run button and the benchmark will start it actually starts with a demo and it then follows up with uh, two gpu intensive scenes and then on the physics test which is a cpu intensive scene and at the end which is the last scene is a combined cpu and gpu test and the reva tuner always takes its sweet time to appear on 3d mark so don't worry you can also press the asterisk button to make the reva tuner appear so i'm just pressing it but it's not happening so yeah there you go now it happened So yeah, at the end you'll get a score. I didn't get any score because I did not complete the full benchmark. Now, at last I want to say this. If you want to test worst case scenario, you can try running Cinebench R20 multi-core and Unigen Heaven at the same time. Now this situation is a very unrealistic situation where both the CPU and the GPU will run at 100% utilization, putting maximum load on your CPUs, on your system's cooling solution. And as you can see, my Intel Core i5 quad core is struggling to even start Unigen Heaven as my CPU is totally bottlenecked by, you know, Cinebench. So I'll just cut and move forward.
and here you can see the temps are actually quite high obviously and my cpu and gpu both are throttling quite hard once again this is a very unrealistic scenario but this tests the but this test represents the maximum limit of your system's thermal design there you can see my predator sense software shows 100% utilization of the cpu and the gpu and my gpu cannot reach the maximum core clock that it can reach that is over uh, i think 1850 megahertz so it's throttling so i'm going to end the benchmark and end the torture of my laptop so yeah that were that was all about the benchmarks now let's move on to gaming benchmarks so there are certain games like this particular rise of the tomb raider shadow of the tomb raider far cry 5 then gta 5 which have inbuilt scripted benchmark scenes this lets you use it as a reference to tweak your settings to get the desired fps like for example here in rise of the tomb raider you can see it has a scripted event which lets you choose the best settings for the desired fps but there are many games which don't have inbuilt benchmarks so for that you can what you can do is go back to msi afterburner and you can check the following options frame time maximum frame rate minimum frame rate average frame rate 1% and 0.1% lows that represent how smooth your gaming experience actually is then go into the benchmark sections and select two shortcut keys to begin and end the benchmark session i like to choose forward slash first to start the benchmark and minus to end the benchmark session apply and ok now hop into the game scene that you want to benchmark and as soon as you start the action press the forward slash button to start the benchmark session as i'll do in a minute so i'll just start the game And as soon as it starts, you can see I've pressed forward slash and you can see all the other stats have appeared. But my gameplay is quite choppy because CPU bottleneck. And as soon as my session will end, I'll hit the minus button to end the session. There you go, I've pressed the minus button just as I ended the session. Now you can go back to afterburner and then you can go into the settings, then benchmark. And over here you can press the view option. And there you can see all the benchmark logs that you have done. So I have done a couple before and here you can see all the stats. The average frame rate, minimum, maximum, 1% and 0.1% low. And you can see my 0.1% uh, lows are quite low. Which means the gameplay was quite stuttery. Which actually it was quite stuttery. I hope now you know how to set up your laptop for you know benchmarking and stress testing. Now you know the, what are the weakness and your strengths of your laptop and now I hope you will be able to also cope with those weaknesses and strengths and you know do all the tweaks that are necessary to make your laptop perform at its highest level. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Also join the Discord server. And yeah, I'm Dittesh and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.